Dude, he won't stop looking down. <laughs> Me on my SATs. <laughs> You know what's really cool? I'm gonna connect to my PS4 at home. <laughs> How did you bend it? Oh, Tanner. I did it though. You broke it, but yep. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be forced? Wow, wow, Shaw. Shaw, Shaw, I'm Shaw. dying in your arms to learn. Must it be something you say? Welcome to the burn up. Sounds good. Yeah. We're doing a video. I'm not sure what video we're doing. So what is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is Doping Up. Today we're looking at gaming tech products. Can you wait until I'm interested? Guys, we're looking at gaming tech products, okay? <laughs> Give me a pillow. So it's like some gaming products that are a little techy, little cool, little quirky, little happy, little You stole snappy. my pillow. It's my pillow. You stole my pillow. No, this one belongs over here. Bro, where'd my pillow go? Is that it? Right here, I think. Me out, dude. That was fast. Because he's got all these racing straps on his arms. <laughs> Just the way you touch yeah. me. You're well, like, I you're rub your arm. Like, <laughs> racing stripes all over his arms. Yeah. Tanner put his hand on my lower back twice. Today? Yes. When? It frightens me. I don't know Literally when I did twice that. Twice during the last shoot. I put my hand here. Uh huh. No, I did not. Yes, you did. This is how much you do it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna look for lighting. I think dope lighting is the, the, the ticket way. That's dope. That is kind of tight. All right, I'm gonna go with this one for mine. This does a little bit of everything. It's tall, it's lanky. It looks good with the lights off, which I'm kind of cool about. Don't we all? Also, it just gives off a good amount of light. I'm gonna go with it. Guys, guess what? Matt still sick. So we have the one and only, the way more fabulous than Matt, Catherine. Hey guys. Cat, two facts about yourself. Tell them. I like cheese. Nice. Also, I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, wow. So. I also like cheese, and I'm not scared of the dark. Nice. Yeah. I've killed a man. Um, let's go on to the first product. Sure. So, <laughs> if we look here, this is a light. Chiffy. Guys, I'm gonna take this to my house and, and crack it open because I already have like my whole lighting stuff set up in my office, so I feel like you'll get the real vibe of it. Tanner's office is pretty dope, actually. It is, it's actually the dopest thing that's ever happened. All right, calm down. So, <laughs> so let's cut to that. Hey everybody, it's Tanner. I have the product set up for you guys, and it kind of looks like that. Let me get out of focus so you can kind of see it a bit better. Uh, it turned out pretty dope, honestly. This is kind of like the lowest setting. Let me, this is the brightest it gets. It kind of, it glows the room pretty well. You can change the, the whites temperature as well, which is pretty nice. So I can make it super cold and then you can have it super warm like such, which is pretty much e just dead yellow. Like that's so warm. And then another cool thing we can do is I can hit this and I can go through RGBs, which is pretty clean. I didn't know if there's gonna be RGBs on this, to be honest with you. That's what I was kind of nervous about. Cause like, if it's just the whites, like that's all right. Like a little cheap to just be for the white stuff, you know? But it came with two RGB bulbs. Setup was pretty easy. My only problem with this was it was made super cheap. Like I will, I'll say the outside of it is pretty solid quality. Like it, I don't think that'll ever tear. Inside of it, like the, the metal rod that goes through it. It's got really bad threading. And then two of the pieces were labeled wrong. Ugh, it was a whole, a whole thing. But once you get it together and you kind of like jerry-rig it, yeah, it kind of looks like this, which I think it's a dope addition to the set. Comes with this handy dandy remote. I think this is a dub. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like this. My room's usually really dark. Let me show you guys a size comparison just so you guys can see, like maybe you guys were curious how big it is. Let me show you one tanner next to one Amazon lamp. Also, this is my puppy, Rue. So this is one tanner next to one Amazon lamp next to one roo. Roo. What do you think? What do you think? Hey, that's a pretty cool lamp, dog. Hi, everybody. <sighs> Become a dog, dad. This is my entire life now. I think we should buy this. What is it for? It's a little uh, thing you hook up to your computer. You can- uh, It's a little beep bop boop boop. You can encode the keys to do some cool stuff. I can dig it. The Mad Noodler sent me a coupon anyways, so. Gotta love the Mad Noodler. Everything about this just screams kind of dope. Kind of dope. Go ahead and add this to cart. Guys, what we have here is most likely a banger. Ooh. You guys want to play with it? Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to play with it? Here's the thing that's a little strange about this product, okay? So technically what, what you want to do is it kind of lets you like program this so you can program the dial, program the keys to do different things. Pretty cool, right? I think it's dope. The base they made for it doesn't really fit. So it has the holes for you to screw in. They sent you the screws as well. It's because there's spacers in between the base and this. Correct. Why wow, was that so demeaning? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, correct. Yeah. There's like not even enough room for this piece. Right, but Tanner, what I'm saying is there's spacers in between this piece and this piece. And oh, this. You're, so there's supposed to be so there gap is, between? Yeah. Never mind. So this is dope. <laughs> 
I change everything. <laughs> we have Allen. We do have Allen. Yeah, break out the Allen. Woods in his toolbox. Nothing gets me a little bit jazzed up like seeing Woods bust out a little Allen wrench. Maybe even uh, I don't know a, a, a drill or perhaps an, a, a screwdriver. Those things get me worked up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to do this? Sure. Okay. I don't want to uh, handle tools around Tanner anymore. Uh, Woods, <laughs> can you go ahead and do that for me? <laughs> so what would you use? This for like ideally. You would just use it to program to different keys. So think like uh, stream decks, stuff like that. You could set it to do macros. So you could be like, I want it to open up Google Chrome. Bam. It's kind of like a mechanical version of those That's instead of digital. Cool. Woods, you doing anything over there with that, Alan? Mm. Yeah, bro. Are you doing anything? <laughs> Build me a product and make it snappy. Let's have this relationship where I tell him to do things for me and he listens. And he takes it. And he takes it like the little boy. <laughs> I wish Woods would turn me like that bolt. Is that what you guys are saying down there? So this is what it looks like now that Woods put his uh, hands on it. Ka-chow. ka, -chow. <laughs> ka -chow. Guys, I'm gonna use this in my house so I can get a real good time breaking it down and, uh, and familiarize myself before showing you. So let's do that right now. ka -chow. Hey everybody, I'm back at my setup and we have the noodle pad. It's my sister right there. Say hi, Brooklyn. Let me be honest with you guys. Thought we had for this, you know, the original like, hey, maybe we can get click this and it'll go straight to this application or to this website or to whatever, you know, start recording on OBS, all that stuff, possible. But it's not as accessible, I would say. Um, it looks really neat. There's no no way around it. Like, look at this thing. It has RGBs on it. So they have presets for it. And I'll show you really quickly, like the three presets they have. So yeah, they have like layer zero, which is I think the most useful for a normal person is like volume, skip, next, um, mail, stuff like that right rgb to control like the rgbs on the device itself and then they have layer two which is just like a numpad some of those might be useful some might not the numpad might be useful for gaming i don't know take it for what you will if you wanted to actually customize it like i'm gonna i'm gonna open up vs code really quick they have kind of a setup for it and they kind of have like a little layout as well to show you kind of what does what and what does where so you can technically manipulate a lot of the stuff but i don't think it's really like feasible for a normal person it is cool but it's not for me dope if you're into that kind of thing nope if you're a normal human being so take that for what you will, you bunch of freaking nerds. Guys, check this out. Guys, we found a gaming really keyboard cool. to the ultimate max status. It's a gaming keyboard with a monitor built into it. But why? I think it's touchscreen too. Oh, yeah. sick. You just never, it's just, you never, it's just, you never. I would never use it for like these reasons, I don't think. You'd never use it at all. Bet. I'm not a gambler. You don't have to gamble if you're gonna lose for sure. It's not a gamble, you just lose. Blue is mind right there. It's not gambling if you for sure lose, you just give me your money. Yeah. Yeah, you're just losing. <laughs> Give me your lower back. <laughs> your lower back. So Tanner, tell me the use case you have with this device. The use case I have for this device is simple. So, yeah, okay. I don't know yet. I just really love the idea of it. Yes, exactly. I love the idea, but actually it's impractical and not functional. Can't you use that as like a cheat sheet for when you guys are coding? Yeah. That could be dope, actually. If I was on a Zoom call, I'd put everyone down there. <laughs> You'd put everyone down there? And they're literally- <laughs> <You're> looking down. <laughs> it's like- <laughs> It'd be it's the like... dumbest thing you could do. Here's another thing I think it would be helpful for, and this isn't necessarily the best for me, but for the average Joe, yes, because people tend to do this when they type. No, they don't. No one looks at the keyboard when they Everybody. type. I do. Woods, Sam, I think Bailey does too. You you use dual monitors. I've actually thought a lot about it. This is dumb because you're actually moving your eyesight and having to track a new location you are. in a big way. You are. I think the average person literally types like this. Guys, let's know down in the comments below. Do you look at the keyboard when you type? Are yes. you a Tanner or are you a Matthias? No, I haven't looked at the keyboards. I type faster than him without looking. What do you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Woods would like it. I absolutely disagree. But you don't like know me though. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just grabbed his lower back. <laughs> Let's look at some user comments. The nicest keyboard I've owned. I mean, that's one against Matt. My productivity is greatly increased. That's two against Matt. But I don't believe that person. Oh, why? <laughs> is it because her name is Steve Z? These are fake reviews, bro. Steve Z? Sounds like a bot made that name. Dude, that's what I'm, <laughs> wait. <laughs> but what about Craig Q? <laughs> There's no such thing as a Craig Q. Anyways, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna see how useful we can make this. Let's go ahead and add it to cart. Guys, Matt made it for one product. This is Matt post VidCon. Look at him. <laughs> than ever. And he's got a tan going for him too. I'm I was safe. sick with COVID and the only thing I could possibly do was lie outside like, Ugh. and so it was really weird because I came back looking healthier. <laughs>
healthy for you. So guys, we got it right here. This thing's freaking dope. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a bit more close up because it's, they made a cable that's super proprietary. And to be honest with you, it's way too short, but it's freaking sick. I added these keycaps. How much do you love this Woods? Remember we fought on this and you really loved it and you were like, I'm willing to die over this. Did I say die? Yeah, for That's sure you did. Mother. Well, then I yeah. stick by it. <laughs> Why'd you do? It'd be cool if it was like its own little computer. So you mean like a laptop? Yeah, but without the folding <laughs> crap, you know, just like a quick just like. Without the crap. <laughs> without the convenient aspect of something becoming more portable. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just a little fold. Uh, the folding isn't like, the folding I'd, I'd rather, honestly, let's keep it simple. <laughs> not fold. This guy looks like an insane person just looking at a keyboard typing. <laughs> <laughs> I do look crazy. So if you just had like a computer, but no like monitor, you just plug this in, that's cool. Is it though? Wouldn't it be just cooler if that was also a computer? It's I have something cooler. I have something far cooler, Tanner. What? What's happening? Is that the Steam Deck? It's like a switch on steroids. Is it a computer? Yeah. That's tight. See, this whole thing includes the computer, and that's just a keyboard with a janky screen. You know what's really cool? I'm gonna connect to my PS4 at home. <gasps> <laughs> Look at the size of my chessboard. Look how cool this is, guys. The screen, here's my thing. Screen fidelity kind of sucks. Like, it's a 1080p screen. It just looks kind of blurry. Like, it's not what you're expecting. This, how much? Price of a PC, 1400 I think. Bro, look at this. This is, this is literally, I'm playing the Avengers game on my PS5 at home. Is your TV turned on? Yeah, is Amanda probably scared for her life yeah. right now? Yeah, my TV is for sure on and blaring at home. <laughs> I don't know how to get it so my TV doesn't automatically turn on because it senses the connection. What about this, Matt? Mmm. Mmm. Boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> you're like, dang it, didn't expect that. So this next bit of footage, I'm gonna show you how I use it at home. Who am I looking at? I'm looking at the wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm like hallucinating. I'm gonna show you right now how I use it at home, just so you can kind of see. Hello everybody. I wanna show you guys what I did to this keyboard, why I think this is so sick. I pretty much went to like wallpaper engine from Steam, found a dope like moving wallpaper, and I made this just like my extended monitor. This is what the keyboard looks like now. Also everybody say hi to Ryu. What's up, idiots? So this is what I did to it, guys. This uh, screen up top is actually a different monitor. I'm trying to, I can't really show you. I don't have a long enough cable for it. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, I can just go backwards. Dude, who'd have thought wider would do the trick? Look at that. Isn't that special? That is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. That's why I'm using this thing. Is even if I don't use it for a lot, like when I'm playing League sometimes, like I have this up, it's like show me stuff, but like, look at this, dude. Otherwise it's just like, that's just magic right there. Guys, you can't lie. That's the last. Next product. That's. The exact same thing. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> $1,500 laptop with a screen. That's another touch screen. Why would you want this? Huh. Oh, is that what you got it? To see if I would say that? Yeah. I'm not above buying this for spite. <laughs> My only problem with this is when you close it, your screens touch and that's just gross. <laughs> They've been making laptops for a decade. You think their screens are touching screens here? I genuinely think that they would go the whole process without thinking. About it. What happens if they do touch? <laughs> That's how the meeting went. Well, what's wrong with if they touch? <laughs> we're having the meeting right now. And then they this is where I'm like, you're yeah. right. And then that's why they end up touching. I'm looking for stuff, okay? I'm not texting my mom. I'm texting your mom. Do they have a... Uh... Oh, that's kind of dumb. No, don't, don't kill your idea. Do they have a, a, a mouse that looks like a mouse? <laughs> that's freaking dope, Woods. Dude, Woods, you're blowing my mind right now. There's a mess that looks like a mouth. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> just write, write that video down, the whole video though. That's I don't video. know. If, I don't know if more than that exists. Brainstorm with the audience. Um, guys, what are the things are named exactly what they are? RBG gaming desk. RBG, RGB. Yeah, RGB. <laughs> oh, it's RGB, it should. Play like the that. video. Oh, jeepers. Oh, whoa, that looks cool. <gasps> Is this even for the desk? No, they're not even showcasing the desk. Kind of like the chair, though. I kind of want to try this X Rocker, X Rocker gaming chair. I don't think we've tried this yet. This thing looks freaking insane. That's like for console gaming. That's what us gamers are. Rise up. You're console gaming? I'm both. 
I've never seen you play a console game. I have one in my office, PS5. I've just never seen you do that. Maybe because I've never been in your office. Even though I keep inviting you. X Rocker wireless audio, which is what I'm excited for. So we'll be playing audio out of the chair. I'm gonna get this gaming chair. Add the cart. Oh, is this a gaming chair? Oh, the rocker! So it's an actual chair. We just need to build it. That's oh, cool. that seems overrated. Let's just plug it in and do stuff with it. It's a rocker. Let's rock, Woods. <laughs> I'm not over here to put it on a plate. I'm over here to rock. Papa T wants to take a seat. You can't rate this product a nope. I literally can. No, you can't. It's like in my power. Because you're, you're not even using the whole product. Woods, I haven't been on this channel to not do that. All right, but no one's going to take us seriously as a product review channel. Don't mind me just rocking out with my homies. <sighs> this is nice, dude. Is it? Yeah. I feel like I'm about to go to Chuck E. Cheese in an hour when I'm rocking on this thing, you know? Cat, give me yeah. a pull. Sure thing. Nice, this yeah. is spooky. I also like the amount of control. Like it has like a lot of uh, dials and such that you can hook it up for like volume and, whoa. How can we not build this? This is so cool looking. Don't you think we should build it? Did? No. This is all gonna kill the vibe. Uh, yeah, you're right. The you're vibe right. is that it rocks uncontrollably. Uncontrollably? Now that would kill the vibe because it would therefore rock controllably. Mm, wow, look how easy that would be to put together. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and chill while Woods does whatever he's doing. I just need the, you know, the chair. <laughs> uh, that's a no can do there, bravo. Is that all that it needs, is those two pieces? And what about this one? That goes on the bottom of it. Then you have all this. Oh, I just, my mouth just froze up looking at all those pieces, Wait, bro. That's a lot of pieces, actually. These are the pieces. This is a part. It is a part from the pieces. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna say it's a dope. What does this look like to you? Blaster. Pew pew. How did you bend it? Oh, Tanner. I did it, though. You broke it, but yep. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be forced? It just bent this only support we have to keep it together. Well, if it's being held together by one clothes <laughs> pen. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bobby pin, you know? Type in stereo subwoofer augs FM. Oh, like the speaker woods? Yeah, and it's got like, for some reason, a couple of keys. Whoa, that is cr that is weird. I think we've seen this before, but we haven't bought it. I don't remember buying it. 100 per customer, that's it? Let's add this to cart. Woods, your product came in. <gasps> oh. DJ, spin that thing. I like that it kind of looks like Sony, but it's not. Yeah, it's like, so I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious if it's a good product because it's very clearly like. Not a good product? Is there a film? Yes, thank you. You ever just undress a product like that so and think, wow, I'm like Antonia Banderas of products. Banderas? You know? Banderas. Yeah, I could not have said that wider. I'm Antonia Banderas. Banderal. Banderas. <laughs> That's an auxiliary port. Yep. The other one is not. <laughs> what is this cable? USB aux to It's just two different cables. Aux oh, <laughs> it is two different cables. Bro, I was stressed. I, was I like, can I've, tell, dude. That blue. English. Mm. Bass, boosted EDM, background music, no copyright royalty free. We'll put that to the test. First off, I think we should point out, is this the product on the packaging? I don't think it had these arrows what on the packaging. I thought it had touchscreen stuff. Yeah, what? Uh, it's not. They actually gave us the wrong product. The YouTube thumbnailed us. Is that all the way up? Yeah, wait, where's the bass? I just turned up the volume, but it changes oh. the video. Bang it around. That, that changes. Wow! I just, just said, said dude, listen. <laughs> I know, but I had to really experience that for myself to figure out why I was so dumb. Oh, it's supposed wait, to be waterproof? Wait, how does this test it? No, it's not supposed to be waterproof. You gotta see the water move. That'll tell you if it has bass. Do your homework. Oh, I did it too early. <laughs> oh, that's kind of oh, cool. Look at it move. That sucks. Yeah, this product is the worst thing ever, right? Yeah, it's pretty. We legit got robbed. That'd be dope to take shots on while music's playing. You want this bass drop shot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so this thing is called, yeah, IQ Nexus. Oh, I see it. This is pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, it's another screen for your keyboard. This looks like it just, it's like another option. I think it's not trying to do what- The other one is. Yeah. Let's get this. Add to cart. Check oh, this yeah. out, guys. All real gamers have a digital screen above their keyboards. Ooh. That's what I've heard. Check this out. Corsair. It's a rectangle. What are you guys' first impressions? It's Corsair. a rectangle. Corsair. It's a rectangle. <laughs> I have the Zoe 101 theme song. Ooh. 
<laughs> stuck in my head. I'm Sing not it. your kind of gal. I don't know what the <laughs> lyrics are though, so it's like... <laughs> no, dude, I honestly really appreciate you being vulnerable enough to open up and sing that to me like that. Um, I'm not your kind of gal. What is... Okay. Um, configuration okay. del software. IQ, Nexus. Oh, I went to French on accident. Hmm. That was impressive, I believed it. Did you do it? I did. Nice. <sighs> oh, that's flush, bro. Guys, the software is gonna take 20 minutes to download, so we're gonna have to cut to it when it's all done. Da 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 done, done. Wow, <laughs> nice timing. All right, guys, so. We set up the software for the IQ. We set up the IQ. So this is what it looks like. I think you can change the background on it too. But for instance, I just made this one right here, Doper Nope, right? So if I click on it, it goes straight to Doper Nope's website. Wow. wow. Oh, if you hit really subscribe, cool. that's why I put the music symbol because it's music to my ears. Check this out, guys. This is what the IQ app looks like. So it's pretty seamless, right? Um, you can quickly add new buttons, new widgets. So if I click one right here, it has different fonts. You can make the button, different text sizes, change the button name but you can change the assignment of the button here to like do different things. For instance, if I pick um, launch app, I can pick web browser Google Chrome, right? Or I can select a different app to launch. For instance, Counter-Strike Source, or even better, Slack for all you <laughs> educated workers. Yeah, that's way better. Um, and it already instantly puts in the Slack icon. It's right there. And I just press it and boom, Slack pops open. So that's pretty much what the use of this is. It's like a little shortcut maker. You can do a lot of cool different things with it. I think it's worth it. It's pretty simple. It's easy to set up. So if you're looking for a skinny little, you know, substitute for maybe the stream deck, something of that nature, I think this is a good choice. Yeah, I like that. How much was the price of that? I don't know. You, I would like Tom, to know. show it right here. Whoa. Wow, that's sick. Also, I can look it up. Yeah. <laughs> 100 bucks. So this thing's pretty sick. I'd say this is a dope, actually. I think there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. Next product. Cursor movements with your finger. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty dope. What is that? So this is, it pretty much makes your finger the cursor. So if you move your finger, it moves the cursor on the screen, and I'm imagining it allows you to click and point. This is actually kind of fun to try with the game, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just a first-person shooter. No, because if you do this, it'll move the screen, but you'll be pointing over here. And it'll look behind you. It's not like duck hunt. <laughs> yeah. Point it's not itself. like duck hunt where the screen stays static and you point to the screen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing. Well, you know, if it doesn't work, it's still a really nice ring just to wear around. <laughs> <laughs> so we get it. And the cart. This is a Magnema. You're making that up. So this thing, I think, it has something inside of this little cube that I think you put around your finger like such. Ooh. And you can use your finger as a mouse. <gasps> That's sick. Here, so this is the little cube it charges in. Pop this right here. So wait, what is the point? The point is that you point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and read, everybody. Welcome to Tanner's episode of A Day in the Library. Uh, Chrome OS. Oh, Chrome OS. Wait, this can only, wait, what? <gasps> what? No. no, point, 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 point. Wow. Yay! Oh, you clicked something. Yeah. Oh, you're loading Todoist! This is the most productive Woods has been in years. He's actually loading websites. So Woods, that's go that's down and click in the bottom left bar. Mine sweeper. Oh, my. Dude, I feel like this is the ultimate test. Can you keep control? Okay, Woods. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, nerd. Welcome to hard mode. <gasps> what a good shot! Oh, that was a close one. Dude. <laughs> oh! You suck. You died. It takes a while when your finger's in the air to like load that your finger's in the air. Yeah, I feel like this thing has problems. For starters, it sucks. For seconds, this is a pretentious product. Stop that. Wow, this is really... Is that, that looks infuriating. It was. What in tarnation? Am I supposed to hold oh, it like a phase? I had it on backwards, <laughs> for sure. Wow. This is meant for people with the hands of like stone. Like surgeons. Yeah, this thing is a nightmare. This is so stressful. Oh, it hurts my fingers. We're gonna go crazy, we're rushing our letting. Wow, <gasps> wow. Bomb. Wow. Diggity, dog, no! Wow. All right guys, this product is a nightmare of a product. Not only can you not use it for gaming, this thing like hurts my wrist. If you use this, you probably either teach accounting. Why is he holding it like that? <laughs> uh, next product. Yeah. <laughs> what about these pop filters that you put them on your mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Look at what's found, dude. Ten dollar pop Here's filters. Do you think they'll fit? It might not fit. Dude, look how tight these are. We're gonna add these for our lobs now. So. <laughs> Ooh, our mic covers are here. Guys, the mic covers. Ooh, those are large. Yeah, they're really big. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's transform. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what's the point of this? <laughs> 
for fun, dude. I'm gonna put lips because this is where I wanna be kissed. Check, check. I can hear you. Check. Three, one, two. Yeah? Yeah. Three, four, five. These are, they're actually for your gaming uh, oh, mic. That's yeah. Fun. Yeah. I like that. Oh, I think it's pretty dope, though. I could totally see, like, every e girl in the world having these on their mics. Do you need a sponge for your mic? We've got the product for you. Simple, yet tasteful. Also, so stinky. Make it smell like mm, candy or something. That'd be good. <laughs> Did you hear my nose? All right, these things were good enough. They were all right. I appreciate them. Yeah. You know what else I appreciate? Oh. My mom. A good time. Oh, yeah, I do, actually. What about a wooden dog lamp for your desk? <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. All right, the T-Rex kind of wins it for me, dude. You can pose it. That's funny. Great dream will one day be coming. <laughs> Great dream will one day be coming. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it in quotes? Who said that? Great dream will, will one day be, be coming. You know who said that. <laughs> I can't tell you. All right, let's buy it. Add to cart. The dinosaur. It's a dino light. Dude, he won't stop looking down. <laughs> Me on my SATs. <laughs> <laughs> this is really well made. Yeah, the little etched in power button. Oh, like it's that. high, dude. That's clean. <laughs> Yo, give me the power. No yeah, you just want me to hand over the power? Here. Damn. No one crayon can have all that power. Tries to plug it into a screw <laughs> right up there. <laughs> well, come on, who would think to plug it into his head? I know, it's okay. Kind of a dope light, honestly. Yeah. Kind of got serious, like, I'm better than you vibes. Yeah, it's bright. It's kind of a good light to, like, light yourself with, too. Wow, dude, it looks like you're telling a campfire story. One time, I didn't go to my jury summons, and they didn't even call me back. That's not that scary. It's, it's actually okay. just like it's a okay. blessing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this is dope, though. I think this is probably one of our best purchases. That's what in the anatomy is this? Like everything else is anatomically sound, except for the fact he has a wire coming. Is this like a spine? That's just how dinosaurs were back then. They were powered through cable. Dinosaurs were powered by... The sun. <laughs> the Technically sun. true. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I'll call him Sparky. Ooh, because he lights up your life. Like sure. nobody else. Me. Yeah. Is that how it goes? The way that you get compelled makes me overwhelmed. I'm gonna stick this in this socket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of Dope or Nope. Let's see your nice comments from Matt in the comments down below. <gasps> Matt actually specifically said, Tanner, I want them when they're done watching this video to watch that video right there. Mm -hmm. He said that's his favorite video of all time. Mm -hmm. And he said he wants you to watch that video right there mm -hmm. because if you watch it, he'll get plus one health plus. points. One HP for every person that clicks on that video. He needs all the HP he can get. Gamers rise up. You can do great things. We'll see you next time. Bye.